So I'm joined this afternoon by Jeff Alexander, Professor of Sociology at Yale University. Professor Alexander, thank you for meeting with me. My pleasure, Todd. What I'd like to do is uh, just ask a couple questions about your article, The Fate of the Dramatic in Modern Society, so Social Theory and the Theatrical Avant-Garde. Uh, to begin, given your interest in recent publications in performance, why have you written this particular piece? Well, the short reason would be that I stopped doing kind of basic theoretical reading in performance studies back in the early 2000s, and I wanted to see what had been, what important things had been written in that very important field in the last 10 years. The long answer would be that I had developed a broad theory based on uh, drama ideas uh, in my earlier work, and it certainly referred to developments in theater studies. But I hadn't really spent enough time on the history of theater, on the development of, of, of theater. So I felt that this, as I read the literature, I realized once again that um, performance studies is mostly about the theater. Uh, it's not really about much in social life, although there are important exceptions. But I also felt that this literature gave me an opportunity to apply the broader macro theory of the diffusion of the elements of production to the development of theater over really its entire history, and that this would be an important thing to connect with for people specializing in drama studies. Okay. What is the relation of this paper to your broader program in cultural sociology? There is, I think, an important connection. I think that throughout this work of mine on performance, it's been very important to make the connection between aesthetic theory in drama studies, whether it's in uh, the stage or movies, um, or just theory of drama, and uh, theories of social life. Um, so I've used centrally the idea of the possibility of connection or a fused connection between audiences and actors as equivalent to the idea of ritual in a sociological sense. And then I've been interested in theorizing the conditions under which it becomes more and more difficult to achieve ritual fusion, noting that the fragmentation and differentiation of society corresponds with the uh, growth of specialized elements in the creation and production of drama. And the uh, creation of a fourth wall and the problems of communicating with audiences. So if I wanted, this is an important topic for me because I wanted to show that inside of the avant-garde, in the development of the avant-garde in drama, uh, writers, directors, actors, coaches, uh, dramaturges, have all faced the same problem as people in, in society have faced, which is it's become, it became harder and harder with the development of modern drama to connect with audiences for various reasons. And that the innovations we associate with the avant-garde uh, can be seen as efforts to try to overcome this separation and to reconnect. And I'm especially interested in the tension between the two avant-garde's, one, the Brechtian one that accepts the separation and um, suggests that theater should, in a way, produce alienation and distance, which is the idea of de-traumatization, you could say. And the other strand of the avant-garde, which I think of as more powerful, which is the attempt to overcome this fragmentation or separation by recreating the possibility of a ritual connection uh, such that the artificiality seems to fall away and there is a sense of transcendence and fusion. So the argument in the paper is basically look at the elements which people have brought into 
the avant-garde in order to achieve dramatic ritual infusion. Professor Alexander, thank you. My pleasure.